we're all checked in at Hanoi Airport, ready to board our flight to Taipei. Ta Taipei. I Taipei. Always. That's it. That's sorry. It. Taipei in Taiwan, which is our layover to Toronto, Canada. And this flight's about three hours, and then we've got about a four hour wait, and then a 14 hour flight. So it's gonna be a very long day. I am so tired. It's, I'm trying to get my head around Canada time. And in Canada right now, it's midnight. Cause I've changed my, my watch. And um, I'm gonna have to try and sleep on this flight to really like feel like it's bedtime. And we both stayed up really late last night to try and like adjust. I only so, got like four and a half hours sleep. Yeah. So we should be okay to have a nap. I want to find some food because I'm starving. So this entire airport, every single food place that we went to didn't have a vegetarian option, which is kind of weird because most food places in the UK at least and actually in most places, airports we've been to, there's at least one vegetarian option in most places. Um, until we went right to the end and found this place called Pop Fast Food and they have vegetable pho. Pho. I'm gonna eat now, I'm so hungry. Alex had breakfast but I didn't because I didn't like the um, <coughs> bananas. Also I had second dinner last Oh night. my god, yeah you did. We've arrived in Taipei and Alex is mad at me <laughs> because there's a TV on right in front of us and it was like playing ridiculously loud adverts with like so the same. Instead of moving or putting her noise cancelling headphones on, she tried to change the channel. No, I didn't. put it onto static really loud. No, I tried to turn the music down, <laughs> but I changed the channel instead of the music. But yeah, now me appreciates it because it was going. <laughs> like over and over. I was enjoying it. It's five in the morning in Canada. Yeah, but you haven't been to Canada yet. Yeah, but we're like transitioning over. You. This is what I have to deal with. So we are arriving in Toronto at midnight, and then our flight. Quebec is at, is it 11.30 the next day? Yeah. I can't remember exactly. Yeah, it's at 11.30 yeah. the next day, so we have to wait 12 hours, nearly. We were going to get a stay in a hotel, but we want to save money, because we're cheap. Time passes quite quickly when you're in airports, weirdly. So that's, what we, that's the decision we made anyway. This game, are you playing my game? Yeah. <gasps> no, it's mine, <laughs> let me finish it. We're getting worried that there was no vegetarian food here, and then um, we found some. That's the coolest fucking story I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. Can I hear it again? I look really tired. That was 
a long flight, wasn't it? That's right. <laughs> on an even longer way. No. Similar amount. It's a bit less. <sighs> So we just got our bike boxes and they look like they've gone through a hurricane. Like there are massive holes here. The bottom of mine has come open. On the other end, this huge holes. Like they've been beaten around so much. And this is the situation. He like threw it through, like chucked it and it made a big noise. Like how? This was like a really crisp box. No airline has ever done this. Like seriously, the airport. the airport. I'm not impressed, Toronto Airport. Not at all impressed. <sighs> Bedtime. Where are my legs gonna go? <laughs> Okay, so I have no idea when we last filmed a clip, but I guess before we went to bed. we've been in Toronto airport since we landed last night and it's 10 a.m. So we've been here, here for, we found a place to sleep and it's quite funny really because it was like a kid's play area and the floor was kind of like this sort of foam floor and there was like three or four people sleeping on, on it. And there was one girl like inside the little kids' play thing. It was like a tree, and she was inside it in like a rug. And I was like, "That's such a smart she was idea." She there the whole time, wasn't mm -hmm. I mean, she was still there. Yeah, and um, I was like, "This is actually probably more comfortable than the chairs because the chairs have like grooves between them." Mm. So I went and got my phone, listened to some peaceful music, and slept on the floor. And then when I woke up, the whole thing was filled. There was literally like twenty or thirty people because they'd all probably seen it and thought that's a smart idea. Um, also because a lot of the chairs were taken so it was kind of funny because I woke up to like the sleepover of loads of different people mm. like kids and <clears throat> adults all around really, wasn't it? yeah and we're just waiting and I, I cannot wait to just be in Quebec this has been the longest day we've been traveling for a day and a half I think by the time we get there it'll be like was it two days over uh, mm. oh, yeah because we left at 9 a.m. on Wednesday and we'll be arriving what day is it today? It's Friday, so we'll be arriving at like 1pm on Friday, so it's like two days of travel. Like we were gonna, when we booked the flight, we were gonna fly to Toronto and spend a few days here, but the flights didn't work out and like we had such a stressful time trying to figure it all out. I don't know if we've mentioned it or not, but basically I mean, we couldn't stay in Toronto for a few days, so we've had to go to Quebec and we meet my mum and dad who hired a car and they bought like a bike rack. So we're going to be driving with them to PEI. So that'd be nice. We'll spend a few days in Quebec and then drive down with them. I'm just so excited to see them. I can't wait just to have a hug from my mum and dad. It's the last leg 